Rose Nansarko's children are stuck at home. She's not been able to send them back to school. Rose used to operate her business close to the capital Kampala, but had to shut it down due to curfew restrictions. When my stationary business collapsed, I opened this bar, but security officers couldn't allow me to operate beyond curfew hours. I was arrested several times. Rose is now stranded with four of her children. She's only managed to send back one child to school who will be sitting for his final year level 7 exams later this year. I never went to school, but I want my children to be educated. In fact, I always ask them to read for me something that I don't understand, and that excites me. So I really want my children to study, but I'm defeated. Ugandan schools reopened for learning after over 80 weeks of closure, but not all pupils have returned. A number of children in this slum neighborhood have not reported to class over a week since school reopened. And in almost all cases, their parents were hit hard by the pandemic and are unable to pay their fees. Rose's children are two years behind the learning program because they didn't study online during the school's closure. Public schools in Uganda are less costly than private ones, but not many can afford paying the $30 fee required in those public learning institutions. And head teachers say some parents are reluctant to take their children back to school for fear of another lockdown. Some have genuinely had financial constraints, but others fear. They think they, we may pay fully and then they close. A new UNESCO report shows Uganda may fall short of ensuring equitable education for all by 2030. The National Planning Authority estimates 30% of learners may not return to class due to early pregnancy and marriages and child labor. And many parents like Rose are struggling to send their children back to school due to financial challenges.